Hello my Libras and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course I'm Debbie and I'm reading for December 29th through January 4th. We are in 2024. It's been a long year and I'm getting for these readings a lot of hard decisions are upon us all, especially you my Libras. I don't know what the decision's about but it's kind of like time to time to make that decision. Sometimes not making a decision is also making a decision. Anyway, remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Also, I've done an overview. Can't remember for the life of me what I called it, but take a peek because it's, again, it, there's, there's a lot of decisive, a lot of decisions for a lot of people at this point. And now, again, for you, my Libras, I am feeling like there is some decision-making it's like, you know, it, 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 there's a lot, but you need the clarity. You need the clarity. And with the clarity, you may need to, um, I don't know, you may need to kind of separate that emotional energy. Or maybe you need to make it off of the emotional energy. Sometimes you make, you, your decisions are so rational that you forget to bring in that emotional, um, you know, that emotional part. And maybe that's what you're really needing to do. What What is your heart saying to you? Okay. So let's see what we have here. So we've got the five divine guidance. The Hierophant has popped out. We've got another card that's popped out. Let's see what we've got with that one. And let's see, let's see what else. What else? Higher power, Holy Spirit. What other card? What other, what's the message? What would you like to tell our Libras? What is it that you would like to tell our Libras? So this one's reversed. These two popped so that you know all of these have a strong message for you at this time so now first card these two are major arcanas this is the universal hey listen to me five is about change you know change 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 positive or negative change we don't know change that's even positive can feel very negative and change that's very negative can have a positive turn now this is also archangel sandalfim Sandalfin is believed to have been Eli who is believed to be Elijah, who was one of the great prophets of the Old Testament. The thing about Elijah, though, was that he did follow, you know, he did, he, I mean, he, he was, okay, you know, God would tell him to do something, and he'd be kind of like, you know, he'd be afraid. He'd be afraid, even though God said, I will watch over you. He still had a lot of fear. Divine guidance has also, to me, it ha and this also has an association with Taurus. Jupiter is going direct in Taurus. Normally I don't bring that up, but there could be something like that Jupiter going direct. Could be that switch that you've been needing. Could be that time and that turn in that direction of the decision. Hierophant, to me, though, does have a lot of legalistic um, energy, both in government and or religion. Okay? It's not your spiritual... It's not spirits. It's, it's spiritual... Um, it's not a th thing of right or wrong or what is justice as far as injustice. It is, these are the rules and you do what I say, okay? Now, the thing about the divine guidance and the rules is basically, you know, maybe this is, maybe you've been guided by that or maybe there is somebody coming to you that says, this is the way it is. You either do this or, you know, he, you know, my way or the highway. I don't know if that's you saying this, my Libra, or if this is being said to you. It could be either or. The thing about this is it's very rigid. It's very legalistic, okay? So you could be coming into that situation, and again, it could be this is the way. This is the, you know, my way or the highway. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternate approach Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Sometimes you need to have people around you that are going to be supportive, but make sure that they are wise. And, you know, you don't want to be the one, my Libra, that they're the ones that say, okay, no, you're right, you're right, you go do this, you go do this. And then they, they're all in their nice cushy jobs or in their safe jobs, and you're the one that's out on the street, okay? So you want to make sure that what, whoever, you're surrounding yourself with people that do have your best interests, okay? But this to me is like you're coming to, you know, there's all the decisions when, with decisions crossroads. And there's some choices here. Do I follow the hard, you know, do I follow the legalistic path or do I branch out and do what my guide, my God, my spirit tells me to do? 
Well, the part of that is that this is the peace card. This is also the death card. This is Archangel Azrael. Azrael is who meets you through all the hard transitions. So we have the five, we have a one, three, one new beginning. Three is um, celebration, creation, power of three. One plus three is a four, four stability, organization, and leadership. See, that's the thing is though, even though things might be rough, they will lead to a more stable space. This is peace. This is, isn't the say yes, let go and let God. This is transition. This is something has to end in order for something to go. So it does feel like this is a very heavy um, pushing energy. It's kind of like when you feel like you're at the end of your rope. It's kind of like when you feel like, no, you just want to make sure, my Libras, that you bring, it, bring, bring the anxiety down. Make sure that your words are modulated. Make sure you do everything with love. Okay? Okay. But this, this is like, you know, this is something ends in order for something to begin. Release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Now, just the fact that these are next to each other and what I was telling you about, the inner, you know, again, a, a lot of the people, a lot of the readings I'm having are about paths and choosing and deciding. You want to make sure that you, and again, I know you want to do your heart, but you want to make sure that when you, if you are changing, if you are leaving something, if you are quitting a job, don't do it in anger, okay? Because you do not want to burn bridges, um, I'm not saying that it's not that it's not justified, but generally sp speaking, whenever I've burned bridges, it's been me who has been the one that caught on fire. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Reversed again. Decision, decision, decision. This is the devil card. You have a very strong strong universal thing going on <laughs> this week okay divine guidance legalistic okay maybe has something to do with that saturn in um neptune not sure um rules or rules 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 peace something has to something is ending i am done with this i am tired i have to move forward but then we have decision and this is where i said you know when you know i've been the one that's gotten on fire so we have joe field joe feels very creative energy too so we have a 15 five, five, five. Um, change, change, change. Six, you know, ten plus five transition to change. So you've got you've got a lot of um, things happening right now. Decision is also considered one of the de is considered the devil card. You know, this is where you know you'd rather stay with the devil you know than change. You know, than go into that new be new new place. It is about facing fears. It is about going. Oh my, you know, kind of there could be some regret here. Like, oh my goodness, what did I do? Oh, I wish I could go back. I wish I could go back. The thing about this now, you have to look. Here are these birds. They have been all, you know, they, they're, they are flying free. I, I can't tell you if these birds were all in this cage or not, but this bird has been caged. And this bird has become subdued because of the caging. This bird has become used to being taken care of and not flying free. And yet, at the same time, there's a longing in this bird. This bird would like to fly free, but he's afraid. And so, decision, it's a, it's a decision. The decision is always yours. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So, it's, it, it's, a, it's all a case of the what, if, what ifs. What if this happens? What if that happens? And you know what? What if those things can happen? But again, the more negative energy we put out, um, the more that cycles back to us. So there's, you've got some very strong transformative cards here. This one, like I said, this one is kind of the rules and right. Oh, no, we don't do that that way. This is how it's done. Do it, my Libra, do it. Well, uh, my Libras might think about that for a while, and then after a while it's like, uh, no, not doing it, not doing it. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. But again, facing fears, facing fears. Now, you can face fears and say, you know what, I don't like my situation, but I have to stay in it. That's a reasonable, you know, that's reasonable, okay? Um, it's again, but it's facing it and saying, yeah, I, I am afraid to move forward. I am afraid to take that chance. But then you have the peace card. <laughs> then you have the death card. You have the, yeah, well, you might be forced into making that change. Okay, let's see what we have here. Higher power, Holy Spirit. 
What else for my Libras? What else do you have for our Libras here? Libra, Libra, Libra. What else do you have for our Libras here? Reversed. Okay, helper of thought. So the helper, the healer, okay, the helper is the knight of air. So something goes fast, something goes quick. Your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best you can. You know we'll meet or are someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. So this person has faced their fears. Or they're facing their fears with this. Something happens quickly. Something happens. So this is the Knight of Air, the Knight of Swords. Knight's underlying energy is our fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But then thought, um, air energy is your energy, my Libras. Okay, let's see what we have here. But this is like quick, quick, quick. Things, Whatever this is all about, it happens quickly. Okay? So here we go. So a lot of times when that's going on, you know, that's when I've learned to pray the most. You know, oh, God, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me, God, help me, God, help me. Um, you know, it, it, this is what I've learned to pray the most. And I'll tell you that uh, prayer, does come, prayer does come through. Okay, reversed. So maybe carry some citrine with you. It helps with wealth, advanced career prospects, self-esteem, and manifestation. However, I forgot to do my inspirational wisdom okay but you might want to still carry some citrine with you because it does help with manifestation and this looks like it's a time to manifest okay sorry about that we will do this and then we will do go jump over to the angels answers okay higher power inspirational wisdom what do we want to say to our libras what do we want to say to our libras okay this one's also reversed Cherry Blossom Fairy. Oh, is she a sweetheart? Look after your life in the same way you would care for a fruit tree. Allow others in, help, in to help and nourish you. So don't carry this burden alone. Don't carry whatever this is alone. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's see what the angel answers are. I know. Get some citrine. I just picked those. I picked them up and just started shuffling. Sorry about that. But let's see what else we have here. Yeah, big, it's a big week for you. Big, big energies are, are pushing, pulling, guiding, all of the above. Let's see. My Libras, but let's see. What is the answer for Libras? Remember, this is more for fun. Here we go. It's up to you. Wow. A lot, it's up to you. Ooh, ooh, that's when I, that's when this one, I was like, I don't want it to be up to me. Make it not my decision. Ah, it looks like it's up to you. All right, my Libras, any of that makes sense? You let me know, let me know. Anyway, again, Happy New Year, and thank you all so much for all of your support and your love to Amy. Just want to tell you, I appreciate you so, so much. Now, remember... These, yeah, remember to do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. Always remember, though, most importantly, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.